Welcome back everybody to the channel. Today we have a first part of the basic tools uh, series. So today we'll be covering the shortcut keys. Um, you know, to do, to quicken up your workflow, to make, to be more efficient, all that stuff. So first off, we're gonna start with the free move, like that, Whee! So instead of having to go like up here and moving it and do your thing and then move in, you know, it just takes a long time. So if you do alt, hold alt down, A-L-T, alt, and middle mouse wheel, then now you can move freely. Whoa. All right, moving on. W is to move. So W-E-R, W-E-R, W is to move things, E is to rotate things. Now, as you can see, let's see here. Oh, there we do this, right? So W will allow us to move along the axis. If you click on the arrows, they'll highlight in yellow, and that that means that you're moving along the axis. If you click on the middle, like in the box, then you can move freely. But be careful on this one, how it's you can't really move. Um, Kind of exactly where you want to so i always just move along the axis that way you know it's exactly kind of where it was pretty much um e is to rotate kind of the same thing do it along the axis or else it might get all weird and wonky r is to scale so a couple things on this one if you go in the middle it'll scale it proportionally if you go on the outside outside it will kind of skew it it'll be either like a <laughs> like that uh, or yeah like this so try to make sure you highlight the inside of the f4 is for wireframe so toggling f4 um, you can then see the the, the edges the uh, yeah, if you go, if you're like here and you're like, fuck, it's kind of hard to see exactly wh what I'm doing, then F4, and this will toggle the wireframe. Okay. Now, uh, the next one is the type of view. So we're right now in the perspective view. If we go hit U, this will allow for orthographic view. As you can see, it the proportions of everything kind of look off, but this will allow us to really zoom in on like one one vertex and like one tiny little area like that versus perspective view this will cause us to clip through when we're in perspective view can't really zoom in or else the camera will clip through Let's see now sometimes it is um, it is beneficial to do it this way that way you can kind of clip through an object and see maybe behind it or uh, maybe if there's something inside so like if I wanted to see inside of here and I clip through it and you know select something on the inside versus if I was an orthographic can't really like can't really clip through it so a couple different ways to do it um, now they do kind of save where you last viewed it so for like over here in orthographic and then we switch the perspective and then we're like looking over here if you go to orthographic it will go back to what it was last what how you were last looking at it in orthographic view keep that in mind T for top view self-explanatory T is for top <laughs> uh, this will at I think this defaults to this might default to orthographic view like when you're um, when you move out of it so then you just have to hit P for perspective you see how it kind of changes the look of the car now say you want to um, another shortcut say I want to clone this hood right instead of hitting maybe clone and hit OK now I made, a, now I made a, a copy of it, but quicker way is to grab the axis, hold shift, and drag. 
then it'll come up with this. You can either do copy, instance, or reference. Copy would mean literally just a brand new copy, has no attachment to this one here. Alrighty, well those are the uh, the basic basic shortcuts to know, the most important ones that I think in, in uh, 3ds Max right now. Stay tuned for more on basic tools to know and important ones that I use on a daily basis. That will be the next vet video. So stay tuned, subscribe, and join Discord. All links will be in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Peace.